A good artisan must have two skills, he must have good hands and a very high attention to detail. A designer is going to create a concept. So without a design, um, a product is just purely useful. Without uh, an artisan, the product is just a concept. So it is just when we link them both that we create something unique. Every time we design a bag, it has to uh, be a luxury product made out of luxury materials, as little cut as possible. What we are trying to do is to get as many pieces as big as possible um, and mold them instead of cutting them and stitching them. It's actually a dream of many artisans to be able to make one piece article. The stitches must be beautiful, well placed. So the point is really to get the product unique. The artisanship in Louis Bay differs from other brands uh, thanks to, I think, a part of design. So design uh, will have no limits and the artisan will do their best to get to that. We're going to push what reinforcement can we make, what cuts can we make, what work on the pattern, what engineering can we do, what machines can we invent to get to there. Um, that is a, a, a strong point of Louis Bay that just push us all, all the time to get some unique products that are not just useful, but also beautiful and unique. So we begin with the material that we get, so the material that the designer wants, and from that we're going to work. So how do we work? We're going to try to split the leather, add some reinforcement, skive it. Skiving is a very important part of any leather product. It's basically uh, removing some material on the edge to be able to put them together without having an actual step. Then uh, we can, uh, luxury leather can be wet and molded that will make the shape of the leather without cutting it. Um, all these kind of things is what we do. The balloon bag is constructed uh, uniting two parts. So we have the outside shell that uh, wraps and cocoons the bag and the inside bag. So we build them both apart and then we unite them into a mold. It's because it's not a shape that is possible to get without following a, a physical line. The bucket shaped upside down looks like a, a guerrilla cask. So it, we end up calling this step the, the coronation. Uh, it's a very funny looking step. With the balloon bag, we wanted to have a quite efficient uh, handle uh, for the shoulder and handle for the end. Very easy to switch, but very beautiful to look. So we spend a lot of time working on, on that link together. That is actually a nice feature of the bag when we look at it. Before landing on the final version, we had about uh, five main versions to get the size right, the proportion right, and the functionality. The most exciting part is to see an actual finished product and being proud of showing it. Uh, I really enjoy seeing a customer with one of our creations. <laughs>